Hey everybody and welcome back to the shop. In today's video, I'm going to let you in on one of my top 10 best kept mechanic secrets. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit that bell for notifications, and please subscribe. Now if you do any kind of mechanical repair, one of the main things you're going to be doing is brake work. Whether it's just a brake pad job, replacing calipers, replacing hoses, or making lines. And one of the things you always have to contend with is the fluid dripping out of those lines and trying to keep that master cylinder from going empty on you. They make all kinds of fancy tools to plug off the end of the tube so it's not dripping the whole time. All kinds of things that you do not need to buy in order to do these jobs. And here's why. So here's an assortment of tools you do not need for this situation. We've got these type of hose pinchers. They squeeze the hose, you can lock them, pinch the hose off. Not a great idea, you can damage the hose, especially if it's not a brand new hose. Another option for crimp crimping off a fluid line, brake hose. Another option, you crush this down, you lock it. This is one that is meant to pinch off, or not pinch off, plug off the end of the flare. Like if you're gonna take the rubber hose off and all you have is the metal line, this clips under the flare nut and that rubber plug shoves up into the flare on the tube, keeps the tube from dripping. Another option is popping one of these rubber plugs over the end of that flare, or if there is no flare, it's just a piece of straight tube, it's not flared yet, this will fit tight over the tubing and keep it from dripping. All this stuff is a complete waste. Let's say you've got a brake line you need to replace. You're gonna cut that metal line in half and you're gonna to have to take a couple minutes to flare the end of that tubing, get a union on there, tie into your new bent line that you already have, or let's say you're replacing a caliper or a hose and the line's gonna be off for a couple of minutes. You don't want it dripping all over the floor, making a mess. You don't want to risk the master cylinder going, going dry, getting air in there. So you use all these tools to try to plug that off to keep the master cylinder from going low, causing all kinds of other problems. Today, I'm doing a brake job and this van is getting a new hose and the new caliper. Let me show you the trick that I use, which works on 99.9% .9 of situations. I'm not gonna say it works on every single vehicle. It works on most, if not close to all. I've yet to find one it didn't work on, let's put it that way. So I need to disconnect this hose. It's gonna take me a couple minutes to get the new parts hung, get everything set up. I don't wanna lose any brake fluid at all. One, to prevent a mess. Two, just keep that master cylinder from going down. So I'm gonna show you this trick. Not necessary for just a hose, it's only gonna take me a minute. But if I had to like replumb this truck, it's gonna be you know, open for an hour or so. That's when this is really handy. But in all reality, you can do this all the time. It's so fast and easy, and let me show you. So I'm gonna replace this hose. So I'm gonna loosen this nut. I'm not gonna lie to you, I already had it loose once. It was rusted, I cracked it free. I already worked it. Let's get this to the point where it is dripping. So as you can see, I took the line all the way out. Uh, that way you can see this nice, steady, consistent drip we have coming out of here. Now let's say I need to leave that disconnected for hours. I gotta replumb a whole truck or do something crazy. And I don't want to have to use any stupid fancy tools. Let me show you the quick and dirty. So here's a really simple tool that should really be part of your toolbox arsenal. And it is a brake pedal depressor. It has a lot of uses, whether you're using it on the alignment machine, you're using it to just hold the brake pedal down so you can check brake lights by yourself, or so you can use it for this situation. If you're not familiar with the brake pedal depressor, you can make one yourself in about 10 minutes. So here it is. It is a piece of pipe with a piece of steel on there that has a hole in it that's a little bit bigger than the piece of pipe. This could be a piece of two by four on a metal pole, could be anything. The trick is that hole needs to be just a little bit bigger than the pipe 
so this can cock sideways and create a lock. Well, how is that going to keep the fluid from dripping out of this line? The last thing you want to do is push the brake pedal down. That's just going to push more fluid out. And if you're not familiar with how a brake master cylinder works, you would probably think that. But in all reality, as soon as the piston in that master cylinder gets pushed just a little bit, it goes past the pickup ports in the reservoir and starts pressurizing the fluid. Well, if you push it just past those pickup ports, it can no longer take any fluid from that reservoir, therefore creating a vacuum lock. Fluid cannot come in, fluid cannot come out. So you take your pedal lock, push the pedal down just a little bit. Then you slide this up against the seat and the pressure makes that cock and now it can't slide down the pole and it keeps the pedal down just a little bit. With that pedal pushed down just a little bit, this has already stopped dripping out of the line. Let me brake clean this off, hit it with some air so you can see just how much this is not leaking anymore. Dry this off real good. That way you can get the big picture. Of course, hitting it with a little bit of air might cause a little bit of fluid to come out because it's creating a venturi. All right, that is just about dry. Now, you remember this was a steady drip. Let's watch it. All right, before I put you to sleep, as you can see, that is not leaking a single drop. Let's take the pedal lock off. And we are back to dripping. So in my opinion, there's only one single downside to this entire system. And that is the brake lights are on the entire time. So you could risk killing the battery. So if you have to like replumb an entire truck, like all the brake lines are totally rotten. You're gonna hand bend an entire truck, replace all the metal lines. You're gonna have it apart possibly overnight. Putting that brake lock on will keep that master cylinder from dripping a single drop out of any lines all night, all week, all year if you need to. But you might want to disconnect the battery or pull the fuse for the tail lights, the brake lights, so you don't kill the battery. Because then you have a whole new situation when the job's done, you try to pull it out for the customer. So that's really the only downside is the brake lights are on and you could kill the battery. But in my opinion, this is absolutely the best way to keep any fluid from dripping out during any hydraulic repair to a brake system. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and it helps you out on your next hydraulic brake repair. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, hit that bell for notifications, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.